There are over 8,000 different Shopify apps in the Shopify app store, which is a lot considering that there's all different types of functionality and design. And honestly, it can just be overwhelming to go through. So in this video, I want to share with you my top 10 favorite Shopify apps that I love using for my stores or for my client stores. And that I highly recommend as well. I'm going to go through these apps pretty quickly and share what I love about each individual app. So if you're interested in one of them or want to learn a little bit more, then I'm going to have a link to all of them in the description below and I'll put them in the order that they're shown in this video. Okay, so we've got a lot to cover in this video, so let's just go ahead and get started. So I have all these apps listed in no particular order. However, these first three apps I think are just must haves for all Shopify stores. And the first is reconvert upsells and cross sells. What I love about this app so much is that you're actually doing the upsells and cross sells on the thank you page where other apps will have it once the product is added to the cart, which can sometimes then potentially affect the sale. However, you've already got them with their purchase and this is on the thank you page that you can do specific discounts if they add a product to their cart, a one-time offer or incentivize them to give additional information like their birthday for a specific discount code. You can really customize the thank you page here and add in additional ways to increase that average order value. So I think it's a great addition and it's really helpful because you already actually have all of the customer's information and all of that saved. They don't have to enter their credit card again. They can just hit, you know, add to cart, buy now, whatever it is, and have that added on to their existing orders. So it makes it a really great customer experience and it helps increase your average order value. The next app that I recommend is Aftership, and this lets you do a branded tracking page where you can actually highlight other similar products or main collections, as well as give detailed shipping information to your customer. This lets it be a really good customer experience because they feel confident in seeing where their product is every single step of the way, and they can sign up for additional updates as well. It also helps with customer support for you and your team because there's a dedicated tracking page where they can view all of their order information, look up orders, and they feel in control of the whole process, which again, can be a great customer experience. The other app that I really recommend is the Looks Product Reviews and Photos app. This is a great app for really automating the review process on your site. So after they actually receive their order, incentivizing them to come to your site and leave a review. And it's a great way to get more reviews on your store. You're not having to actually send all these emails. It's an automated system. Plus they let your customer actually add in a photo review, which can really boost social proof. And you can use these photos as user generated content that you can share on social media and also highlight on your site. Social proof can really be a game changer in increasing your conversion rate. So having these photo reviews on a product page near the add to cart button is always a win. Next, let's talk about apps that help with actually creating your products or just having products to sell. For dropshipping, I recommend Spocket, which is a dropshipping app for products in the US and in the EU. It can be really helpful because they have nice, high quality products that have been vetted, as well as they're unique and they all ship within two to three business days. Where if you go with a supplier in China, you're looking at a couple weeks potentially of your customer actually having to wait before getting their order, which can obviously be a big problem and one of the downsides with drop shipping. So using Spocket, it's really helpful to have the shorter shipping time and overall just helps a lot with customer support and more happy customers because they're getting their product a lot faster. I've been using Spocket for years and I've always been really pleased with the quality of products and the vendors that are on there as well. Of course, anytime you're going to be shipping out a product that you haven't actually created, I recommend always ordering a sample first before actually offering it in your store to check the quality, make sure the shipping times are accurate. But overall, I think this is a great way to offer a variety of products in your store. If you're interested in doing print on demand, then I highly recommend Printful. There are a lot of different print on demand apps. However, Printful can be really helpful because it's all in one place. They offer a wide array of products that you can go in and customize. Plus I find that their quality is really consistent. The issue with some of the other print on demand apps is that they have different print providers. So one printer may do a good job and the other may not do as well. However, with Printful, it's all under one brand and that makes it to be where it's just a more consistent product quality. 
Plus, if you're doing upsells on your site, it's really easy to then use Printful and then add multiple different products that are customized to their cart. And it's all going to actually come in the same package, where again, if you go with another print on demand provider, it may be coming from different printers throughout the world and it'll be in multiple different packages. So this can kind of help save a little bit on shipping costs as well. If you have customizable products, I really recommend the Bold Product Options app. This lets you go in and add customizable features like either letting a customer upload a file that you will print on a specific product for them or customizing a name or color or anything like that to have it be a more customized niche product for them. Having personalized products is a really cool type of product to offer in your store. And this lets your customer go in and add whatever details they need to customize that product. Or you could do a specialty box where they're actually choosing what kind of products they want to have sent to them in their box. And then you're actually able to add in an upcharge if they choose to do a certain type of product over another. So you can get them to spend just a little bit more as well to really come up with a customized, unique product. And if you're interested in offering a subscription product, then I highly recommend Yacht Post subscriptions. It's a fast and easy setup, and it really lets the customer be able to manage their subscription really easily. So subscription products are great for products that run out, so like beauty supplies or coffee or anything like that. Or you can do a monthly kind of shirt of the month club where it's a subscription that they sign up for, which helps create recurring revenue for you. And it also lets them go in, set up that subscription, and it just continually keeps billing them. Again, so that helps with recurring revenue, but it's something that makes it still easy for the customer to go in, change their shipping frequency or their order frequency, as well as cancel their subscription at any time. That way it also saves you some customer support time as well. Making any kind of ongoing thing like a subscription really easy for the customer to manage is just going to be a better experience for your customer as well as your team. Lastly, I've got three different apps that help with conversions. So the first is Just Uno, and this is a pop-up on your site and they also have SMS as well. Anytime that you're having a pop-up on your site to collect an email address or a phone number, you run the risk of actually annoying the customer and getting them to leave. I go to so many different sites where as soon as I get to the site, boom, you're hit with all these pop-ups, but you don't even actually know what the site is yet or what the products are and if you're actually interested. With Just Uno, they have over 80 different targeting options. So you can make sure that you are showing that pop-up to the right customer at the right time so that you're not annoying them and actually capturing that email address, phone number, or just getting them to stay on the site and finish their order. Next is the Hextom free shipping bar. I've been using this app for years and it's a great way to incentivize your customers to spend just a little bit more to get free shipping. So if you're offering free shipping on your site for orders over $50, of course you can say that at the top of your site or on your product page. However, actually showcasing that of whenever they add a product to the cart and showing how far they are away from free shipping or if they just now got free shipping, it can be a great way to incentivize them to spend a little bit more and to finish their purchase. Free shipping can actually be a really big motivator for so many different consumers. So having this highlight across multiple different areas of your site and showing how much more they need to spend to get free shipping can be a great way to increase your average order cart value. And the last app I recommend is Yapo Loyalty and Rewards. This is offering a loyalty rewards program on your store so that you're incentivizing customers to come back and purchase from you again and again. With each order that they make on your site, they get a certain amount of points, which they can use for a discount for a future order or just following you online can get you a certain amount of points as well. Also, this app has a way where you can actually refer other friends and family to your store and in doing so gives them points and lets you give a specific discount to the new potential shopper as well. So you're also incentivizing your already existing customer to become a brand advocate for you as well, which is always really helpful in terms of social proof to get more conversions on your site. So I hope you found this helpful and you found a couple apps that you're interested in trying out this year. If you've already got a Shopify store, but you're not quite getting the sales that you expected, there could be a couple reasons why. Check out this video over here where I go over my top six mistakes that I see Shopify store owners make and how to fix them quickly on your store for more sales.